Hi guys, you might have seen the video where I assembled this uh, iNOS, iNO guide, electric devices, Morse code, send and receive coded messages. And it was a rather nice little kit with some basic problems. Uh, it's only got one transistor, one capacitor, a choke, I think you call it, a piezo transducer, one resistor and one push button operating switch. But what let it down was it got these metal links that are in the back of this blue board and should act like a breadboard with little clips in it. But they were hopeless and I ended up taking all the components off the board and directly soldering them to get them to work. Uh, the other problem was the piezo transducer up there. The wires had fallen off it so I had to solder them on and that wasn't very good either. So today I've got this little breadboard with all the components on it down in this little corner here. Uh, I'm still using the original battery pack, or the two batteries there, so they go through that switch there. But I've added another piezo transducer. This is off a door alarm thing, but it's just the piezo that I'm using. And now chirps a little bit, but at least I can hear it. The original one does still work, but I can't hear it. If I unplug that, some of you youngsters might be able to hear it because it's very high pitched. But if I put this in, it drops the uh, frequency and I can hear it. So there we go, that's iNO's Morse code kit, revisited and just rebuilt onto an ordinary breadboard and it works. Um, so it's still got the problem with the old transducer, piezo is pretty useless for my ears, but if I add that one in we're okay. Job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.